y'all this is anna alexander welcome back to my bedroom on this evening where i'm attempting to multitask and while things are exporting and importing i'm gonna squeeze in a viewing of lucifer this is season three episode 21 and we have left off on an episode i wouldn't necessarily call controversial but maybe one it left a lot of us doing this Okay, okay. We had Chloe and Pierce sitting in a tree. So let's look at it at Chloe's point of view. <laughs> You're into a guy that is so over the top. Over handsome, over rich, over gregarious, just overwhelming, seems to be into you. And then goes, oh, wait, nope, we could just be friends. We can just be friends. To the point where he went and married somebody else. We could just be friends. Okay, you're sad, you're heartbroken, but you're moving on. And then you meet another man who is your boss. And yes, that is a big thing for me because that is a power dynamic that goes wrong, affects your livelihood. Boss, no. Anywho, boss enters your life, handsome guy. Okay, he's good looking, great. Seems to be not a creep. Somewhat competent in their job. Okay. Oh, maybe, possibly he might be flirting with me a little. Oh, nope. He says not only is he, he was flirting, but he's not gonna flirt. He doesn't do relationships to the point he's going to leave town. But then suddenly, whoop, whoop, 180s, Nope, I'm going to stay in town. And how about let's go out? So you have some dates, a couple laughs, sex may be good. Maybe this will go someplace. You haven't even really officially told your child about him yet. But you're going to say the love word who you didn't even say to first guy that you knew you loved, that you're with forever. Didn't even say it to him. You're going to say it to this dude who suddenly immediately says, oh, nope, can't do this. You're not worth it. Or just is not worth it and leaves. Yes, you can be sad. Yes, you can be heartbroken. Personally, if it was me, I would not have been devastated. I would have a day of two of what the hell, and then I would go, mm, I'm worth more. Again, that's me. That's not Chloe. Chloe should know this though, because Chloe's badass. But oh wells. What I don't understand is Kane Pierce might have been under the assumption that the reason Lucifer was weakened was because Chloe cared for him. Sure. It's wrong, but okay. <laughs> he gets Chloe to care for him. Whether she says it or out loud doesn't mean squat. She cares for him. She cares for him. He can't control that. He can influence her. He can't control her. So he feels bad that he's getting her to fall for him just so he could die. Again, out of the millennia he's been alive, nobody has cared for him. Not one person. And, 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 and. We had 19 episodes of, oh, there's a bad guy in town. He's the sinner man. He was a crime boss in Chicago. People get killed and died and killed and murdered, but it wasn't him. It was a protege. Anywho, Pierce was the sinner man. Why the hell was he a detective in 1950s LA solving the heartbreak? In summary, I would have planted things a little bit different. If they wanted to give Chloe a love interest that was opposite of Lucifer, cool, great, fine. This isn't the way I would have done it. So where do we go next? Kane's mark is gone. Does that make him vulnerable? Can he be killed? And I'm not even going to start in on May's mom. I'm trying not to make this intro a bajillion minutes long. But I'm ready to get into it. And I'm so glad that you are here with me as well. So I've got my strawberry berry juice. I don't even think it's juice. I don't even think it's berry. It's liquid and it's tasty. I also have my warm, cozy blanket. As you can see, 
my new sweatshirt I can bust out now since I'm freaking cold. Thanks, Mom. Appreciate it. Um, I have all of you who are going to remember that if you want to, you can see the whole thing with me on Patreon. You can also hit like, subscribe here, all the things that would help out the channel. I would also appreciate it. I think we're ready. Are we ready? <laughs> so, so let's get to it. Why? Why did you hurt that? Why? I think maybe Chloe was slightly sad, but what if she was just like, <sighs> okay, another one bites the dust and Lucifer over lucifer <laughs> He didn't have to go so hard as to destroy Pierce's front window. With my glasses off, this dancer looks just like a cross between Chloe and Charlotte and it's messing with my mind. Jeez! How the hell did you finally get rid of your bloody mark? I don't know. When? When did he get rid of the mark? Or I should say, when did the mark... The plan to get Chloe to fall for me. And why would you have a plan for that? Because I finally figured out what makes us vulnerable. Us. Caring for humans? I forgot. Chloe's a miracle. She's been touched by God. Well, allow me to disabuse you of your misguided notions. Regardless of the detective's possible affections, I think the reason that your mark is gone is glaringly obvious, isn't it? The moment you chose to pull the ripcord on your dubious plan, Dad chose to screw with you. Is Lucifer gonna prove the point and kill Cain? So just say the magic word and I'll be, I'll be happy to help you on your way. Yeah, we'll go old school, shall we? Come on, let's rock and roll. Stop, I've got it. Hmm. I guess this is goodbye. We're on the bright side. I'll see you, see you in hell. The, the forensics on the Duckworth case. Dope shades, Missy. Yeah, I only wear mine Ella, inside when no. I'm like super hungover, or you know, for some reason I've been crying. Right. Oh no. What happened? I dated my boss, and it was a bad idea. I'm just trying not to take it personally because it's not like this is the first time this has happened. So I just wonder if it's something I'm doing. Oh, wait till you ask yourself that for the seventieth time. Give or take. 20. Hey, please do not say anything, all right? Okay, I won't interfere. How could you do this to her? You made her so happy. If you must know, I was trying to protect her. For myself. If you really cared about her, then what are you protecting her from? I guess nothing anymore. I, mean, I can actually be with her. I can grow old with her. Uh. I need to win her back. Mm -hmm. How am I gonna do that? I should have gone for something stronger than strawberry soda. Cause she's wearing her spiritual gangster shirt. That's why she's got faith, but now Maze is gonna kill him. So if you feel the need to discuss. No, it's okay, I really don't wanna talk about it. Excellent, if all goes as it should, we'll probably never be hearing from that lying lieutenant ever again. Shouldn't you be uh, I don't know, having tea with Hitler by now? <laughs> Change of plans. I don't want to die anymore. Of course he doesn't want to die anymore. You were right. About last night, I got scared. Things got very real between us, and I... <laughs> I couldn't handle it. The promise will never happen again, because... Don't propose. Because I love you. Look, Marcus, as much as I appreciate hearing you say those words, it's, it's what they are. They're just words. I can't trust them anymore. She needs a man of action. I'm a ballerina for the LA West Ballet, four years in running. Put up or shut up. I'm trying to think of things. Uh, no, she's known for taking rehearsals alone, especially when she's two days away from a big premiere like Giselle. Hmm. Rehearsals alone, yet she was in that huge ass theater with lights and everything by herself, running soundboard. Yes, I used to work in a theater. <laughs> 
she was strangled using the ties from this. Oh, that's poetic. Not her shoe, different size. Ooh. Maybe whoever did this freaked out and ran. We've seen it before. Oh, yes, we have. Or oh, they're leaving a message. From the lowest form of scum on earth, like Pierce. Well, come on, I mean, we're all thinking it, aren't we? So a ballet slipper should have DNA in it, right? Because this is awkward. I would, uh, personally, I'm with you, buddy. Screw that guy. Our relationship is none of your business. Former relationship, you mean? Yes. Yes. Or no, no, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Whether I decide to take Pierce back or not, it just, it has nothing to do with you. <gasps> Ooh! He well, even got it. still does. Paper cut. Oh no. Oh no. He's gonna vie for her affections again. Again, maybe. Great news. The detective still makes me bleed. It's not that Chloe feels for them, it's that they feel for Chloe. Yeah? Even if he has lost his mark. Pierce lost his what now? <laughs> Love Linda. We need more Linda. She cares for Pierce and me, as proven by my bleeding. Yet, for some inexplicable reason, she's on the fence between the two of us. And how does that make you feel? Well, it makes me feel competitive. Like I, like I need to tip the scales in my favor. And why do you want to tip Chloe to your side? Because as her partner, it's my duty to save her from making a terrible mistake. Show her that I'm better than him in every possible way. And what if Chloe does choose you? Well, then things can finally go back to the way they were. Ooh. Obviously. I love how Linda... Why do I feel like I should have stopped him this how time? Linda just keeps trying to lead Lucifer to the answer. And after all this time, she thinks she can still lead him when he never gets it. I broke up with her. What happened to getting rid of your mark? <gasps> yeah, don't tell me he's is gone. What about what I want? And if we can't lift your curse, then I can't kill you and hang it on Lucifer. Framing Lucifer for murder is the only way to blow up his- Oh, that was her plan. And I need this to get back to hell. Like I said, the plan's off. No one else, no one else can take Mace back to- Hell. Says you. Pardon my tardiness, but I come bearing What is it. that? I know how you like your seasonal beverages, so I got you a lucky the Irish latte. And, oh, to be sure, to be sure. You, you got me a lemon bar. Hmm? Well, they're your favorites, aren't they? I know. It's just, um... It's just what? Ooh, lemon bars. Your favorites? Mm-hmm. Who made them? Uh, Pierce did. Would you believe that hunk bakes? <laughs> Uh, so I gotta lead off the murder weapon. No match on the DNA. What? Oh, no. Shoe had traces of olive oil, Evian, and beeswax. Dancers all have their own unique way of prepping their shoes. And according to her social media, guess who uses those exact ingredients? All Raina's of them? Former understudy and LA West Ballet's new prima ballerina, Amber Fontaine. It's rather convenient. We'd like to speak with Amber Fontaine. For what? We're extremely busy here. Yes, us too. Solving the crime of a brutally murdered ballerina. But Amber didn't have anything to do with that. Well, how do you know? <laughs> it's such an easy thing to... Blah, 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 blah. She just I'm goes... Blah, blah, blah. We're just all pretty emotional right now. Obviously. Clearly some more than others. <laughs> Raina's locker was mine for like a week when she left the company for her new gig. But when she came back, I had to return it. I... Why did she come back? Where were you last night? Home. Sleeping like a baby. You can ask my roommate. <laughs> was your roommate in the bed with you? I was happy to keep learning from Raina. I thought it was our gain and their loss. Whose loss exactly? You know, America's next prima ballerina. Oh my God, it's a reality show. No one has that kind of passion. 
Are those from... Marcus. Bastard. Lucy, what is so urgent? Why'd you call me here? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. We need to get rid of Pierce. <laughs> I thought he was asking Aminadil over to get some maybe romantic advice, like how to woo somebody, although Aminadil isn't really the room, the wooer, but he is a romantic. But no, it's come over, help me kill someone. <laughs> a little fuzzy on that one myself. What is the goal? For the detective to realize she needs to pick me over that blithering Claude Pierce, which God, shouldn't even be an issue. But... I'm in. <laughs> you are my brother and my <laughs> test. Whatever needs to be done. Murder. Murder needs to be done. So what's the plan? We need to make the detective realize that Pierce isn't the man she thinks he is. Oh, they're going that route. <laughs> he is the man behind the whole Cinnamon thing, after all. <sighs> what? Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't I tell you? Fun fact. Pierce <laughs> equals criminal mastermind. Wait. <laughs> anyway, you run with that and I'll... This... No one talked to a minute deal? <laughs> that is Miles Drucker. Choreographer with a bum leg. Is this one of those those who can't teach scenarios? He was a dancer who lost his leg in a car crash. Uh. <clears throat> Instead, he turned his tragedy into an inspirational story for all of us to follow. And it cost him a fortune. Right. Well, I don't see why I wouldn't take such a loss in stride. <laughs> you see what I did there? Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Markova was killed last night. Yeah, I heard. Big whoop. Wow. I, mean, I just don't think Raina was much of a professional. Then why'd you hire her? Let's just say mm -hmm. I was pressured into our collaboration. Look, I'm a very busy man, so unless you're going to charge me with anything, we're done here. Well, actually, no, I just have one more question. Well, yeah, we haven't seen the Lucifer googly eyes in a while. What is it that you truly desire? I wish yeah. that car crash never happened. Why? Because it crushed your leg? Because it didn't crush my leg. Oh. I built my brand on the notion that I could overcome anything. I walk around with a prosthetic. What? She quit because I accused her of blackmailing me. That exposed me, you know, with two working legs. So that if I gave Raina a job, the video would disappear, so I did. When I confronted her, she went ballistic, said that she didn't need any handouts and quit right there. Well, you better not be pulling our legs. Oh, Charlotte. Charlotte. Isn't it obvious? Oh, jeez. I'm a terrible person, so I'm... <laughs> Preparing myself for damnation. In a three-star hotel. It's what I deserve. <laughs> the three stars is what she deserves. Because it's terrible at a three-star hotel. I need to find a way to prove that Lieutenant Pierce is the criminal mastermind, also known as the Sinner Man. Say again. Oh, he's... Oh, okay, okay. Has been leading a double life for quite some time now. I gotta get Charlotte involved in this. Okay. And I need to get him out of the picture so that Lucifer can be with Chloe. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little <laughs> bit more information. <laughs> Start at season, end of season two. God, tasked me with blessing a couple with a miracle her. child. Now that child became Chloe Decker. Now since Lucifer is my test, bringing those two together must be my final task. Okay, let me see if I understand this correctly. <laughs> I help enact God's will. Oh no, she's looking for a, she's looking for a loophole -y kind of thing. Put me in his good graces as well. Maybe. <sighs> Good enough. I'm in. She wants to do a quid pro quo, but Charlotte, that's not the point. That's not the point. Maybe Charlotte is a Minadil's test. If he's being tested. Fortunately, until Cyber traces this blackmail email, we have nothing to do tonight. Why don't we, um, I don't know, go for a drive? Wait, whose car is that? 
But Ta-da! It's not flowers, but so it does go zero to sixty and well. He got He bought her a car. He bought her You got me a car? Uh, is mm -hmm. that a Wait, do you think this is some sort of competition? Yes. Of course. Anything Pierce can do, I can do better. Hmm. It's not about stuff. It's Lucifer. not about stuff, Lucifer, although it's a really nice car. Thanks, anyhow. Good morning. I don't like this maze. I came to earn my way back into the house. One minute, things with Marcus are great. Mm -hmm. And then the next, he ends things. But I just don't know if I can trust it. I don't know. How, how do you know if you can trust people? It's simple. Yeah, that's Maze's answers. I can't. Hey, Mom, what's for breakfast? <gasps> oh. Hey. Oh. You broke her trust, Maze. Paying to an apartment registered to a William Sterling, chairman of the board of the L.A. West Ballet, well-known surgeon, married. Married. Why would he be trying to get Raina a new job? Mistress? Or child? I don't know how I would either of them are. <laughs> Could be a secret child. Could be a mistress. Lucifer. Detective, what? good morning, please. Come in. So I decided to get a jump on the case and take a few things off your plate. Oh, Lucifer. Just slow down a moment. Lucifer, did you break in here? And drink the man's liquor? <laughs> I just realized he poured himself a Would you a believe glass. it if I told you an attractive neighbor with a key simply let me in? Unfortunately, yes. That we are inside the lair of a creepy stalker. Ooh. Evidenced by photos of Sterling with Raina. <laughs> Clearly photoshopped. Uh, some of her undergarments lying around. Don't want to know how he got those. <laughs> Lucifer, I think... Oh, Sterling is a lovesick obsessive who wanted to see Raina's star rise. Yes, me too. But clearly his gift of a shiny new job wasn't met kindly, and so he... Let him go. He's not a stalker. He and Raina were having an affair. She was the love of my life. You are married with offspring, are you not? You don't always get to pick who you fall in love with. <sighs> I didn't care who Raina worked with. I certainly wouldn't hurt her over it. But if you didn't send the email, then who did? His wife? Maybe someone snuck onto her computer. Who else knows about this place? <laughs> His wife. No one, I thought. <laughs> I cannot believe how well this is working out. <gasps> no. What's Pierce buying a ring? Well, the LAPD didn't help. Charlotte, what is this outfit? If I hadn't cut corners, we wouldn't be here as quickly or efficiently or as... Well, hell, who cares? We're working for God now, right? <laughs> oh, crap. He's on the move. Well, maybe we... I'm sorry, but I'm gonna need to borrow your bike. Don't worry, it's for God. Charlotte! Charlotte has gone off the deep end. <laughs> um, and and then you catch up to him, Charlotte. And then what? Why is Pierce driving like a bat out of hell? I said, who are you? The Ms. Richards. <laughs> Why are you following you? <laughs> See, when I heard that you and Chloe broke up, I started thinking about you. I know how hard it is to be stuck in a dark place. Sometimes all it takes is the right person to get you out. We both have needs. Another time. Was that the plan, Charlotte? It's Pierce. <laughs> well, someone needs to hate to ignore. We'll get it. <laughs> I think I figured out a way to prove to you you can... Is he gonna propose? Eight o'clock. Uh, I don't know. Glass repair. He's got glass repair. He's gonna propose. Just 
Just come over. That's a very nice view on a police lieutenant's salary. Before you make a decision about Pierce, I'd like the chance to express some thoughts to you as well. Go ahead. Right, well, I... Actually, can we do this in private? Lucifer. Now, I hope you like Chateaubriand. Um. <laughs> who cooks for Lucifer? Is it? Does he have a private chef on the premises? Yes, I'm curious. Obviously. <laughs> Can you imagine being Lucifer's private chef? Now, we've been through a lot, detective. Do you know what I'm surprised he doesn't have, which is what I would have. If I had mad money, the staff I would hire is a bartender, and his name would be Ted. I can finally ask you the question I brought you here to answer, and I hope, well, I hope that you can answer honestly. I guess he does have bartenders, however, not a person. Isn't this better than anything Pierce could do? <sighs> you did all of this to, to show up, Pierce? <sighs> It's impressive, I know. You know nothing. Why are you doing this to me? To prove to you that you shouldn't be with Pierce. Why do you care who I'm with? Who doesn't deserve you? Then who does deserve me? Someone better. You can't have it both ways, Lucifer. Mm-hmm. That's what you're presenting right now. We decided we had to watch the creepy leg video again. Hidden in the window's reflection. It looked like one of those magic eye pictures. You know the ones Gu where Guys, it looks what like did you see? Recognize that costume? Ooh. He came in costume to record the guy. Why would he risk everything? He wanted to be with her. But he had gotten rid of her. Why'd you have to take Rain away from me? And how, how did he figure it? Drop the weapon! You had no right! But she was already gone. She was on the show. He didn't want to kill Raina. He tried everything to simply get her out of the way. But he cared for her. Yes. But she was also an obstacle to being with the woman Miguel loved. She found out I was trying to blackmail Miles. She was going to get me fired. Oh, this went sideways. Why didn't you just tell Amber how you feel? I was afraid. Afraid she wouldn't love you back. But he murdered for I you. Do. Oh, man. <laughs> I do have feelings for you, Miguel. <clears throat> Thanks for still being in the moment, Chloe, and getting jobs done. To think. You could have had everything you wanted. All you needed to do was tell Amber how you felt. But you blew it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I... Again. 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 And Pierce, you don't know where she's at. You don't know that your employee is on a case and solving them. <laughs> Oh my gosh, if he slipped and fell down the stairs and died. Oh, die in this motorcycle. Oh, good God, Charlotte. Good God. <laughs> it's got to be around here somewhere. Just leave your fingerprints all over the place. It's empty? I don't understand. The ring's in his pocket. And we are not giving up, after all. You don't quit when you're doing God's work. <laughs> Ever since you left my office, I've been struggling between my role as your therapist and my concern for you as a friend. Well, I really screwed up this time, Linda. But I did try everything to get that lovesick former immortal out of the picture when really all I should have done was told the detective how I felt. How I really feel. What are you so afraid of? 
vulnerability. Emotional vulnerability. Who cares? I do. I care. Why? Because she doesn't have a choice, does she? And That's an excuse. You're doing the same thing as him now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now it's different. You know, the truth is, no one really knows what your dad's responsible for. Oh, come on, Linda. Lay down some truths. Lay down the truth. But you know the one thing he can't control? What you do in this moment right now. Linda is the best. So I ask you, the devil, what do you truly desire? <laughs> I want her to choose me. Then tell her. Linda's the best. And she's engaged because Pierce, oh, jeez, my. <clears throat> when you find that person who gives life meaning, Chloe, nothing else matters. But please let me spend the rest of my days making it up to you. What are you doing? We knew it was a ring. Chloe Decker, will you marry me? Yes. Just wait a week, Lucifer Maze is going to kill him. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> Here's the thing about this show that always makes me laugh is I always want them to do what I would do. <laughs> and then we've got this case thrown in that I am compelled to attempt to solve even when it doesn't make any sense on its own. It's making sense because it's reflecting what is happening between our main characters. But by itself, it doesn't, it's fine, whatever. <laughs> so I'm tossed back and forth between how does A fit into D? And then we got this other stuff going around. So what am I, so what I am intrigued by going forward, going forward. So the Amenadale Charlotte matchup, because we're finally bringing back the Sinnerman stuff. Hilarious. But at the same time, Charlotte, you have, she's gone off the rails. Understandably so. But ooh, she's, hmm, but their team up. <laughs> I'm enjoying the team up. I'm glad we're giving Amenadale a little bit more to do. Linda's the best. Linda. We need to have Linda shine some more because when she does, it's brilliant. Right, Maze, Maze. There was a comment, there was a brilliant comment left. I can't remember who it was. Brilliant comment about how Maze, so I was trying to think, why does Maze have something against Chloe? Lucifer will not take Maze to hell because he doesn't want to leave Chloe alone. So indirectly, Chloe does have something to do with Maze being stuck on earth, but not enough to go through all the effort she's going through. And here she says you can't trust anybody at all and thinks Trixie, after she said terrible things in front of Trixie, thinks Trixie's going to be welcoming to her. They're both children. I mean, <laughs> I hope at some point Maze gets kicked on her ass and wakes up to the community she has. I'm looking forward to that happening and I hope that happens sooner rather than later because I know they're trying to give her more to her story. It just doesn't feel off. It feels off. Like it's forced in here when we can have her be doing other things. I think it's the whole Pierce, the way they've kind of wedged Pierce, Sinner Man, Kane, it's very bumpy. It's very bumpy to me. And now we're so far into this season that I'm feeling every single one of those bumps. I like it a little smoother. But now we've got a Chloe and Pierce engagement. <laughs> Do we actually get a wedding though? Or does he die? I, oh my gosh, again, I saw it when he was going down the stairs. 
he gets taken out by something simple. It will be terrible. It's going to be terrible, but I'm afraid I'm going to laugh. It will not be sad to me. It will be like a, huh. <laughs> there we go. Episode 21. Okay, y'all. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for being with me on this journey. I do appreciate it. Oh, so very, very much. So do not be strangers. Hit subscribe. If you haven't already, leave a comment how you felt about the engagement because I know a lot of you did not like, don't like, no, 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 Chloe Pierce, uh-uh. It's absolutely revolting. What did you do when you saw that proposal, which we saw coming from a mile away? Let me know. And until next time, please, this is your reminder to stand up, stretch your bodies, get some water, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.